Years ago, I used to be the entrepreneur who said training an assistant is a huge waste of time. I just failed with my first five assistants back to back to back to back to back. Obviously, if an assistant is leaving, it's not worth training them. And I was in that situation. Then one day, I sat back at the end of the day and I had spent literally all day in email and dealing with like mundane day-to-day -day tasks. I looked down at my to-do list, not a single important thing had gotten done, and I certainly was not making the big progress that I was hoping for on my most important projects, those projects that would have maximum impact and maximum income. So I actually did a time study, and in that time study, it revealed to me over the course of three days that in fact, all my day was spent doing low-level work and I really was not getting around to the big stuff. So in that, in that moment, I realized that not training the right kind of assistant on the right kind of tasks was actually the biggest waste of all because it was wasting my life and my potential as both a human being and as an entrepreneur. That if I continued to do everything myself and not be willing to find the right assistant and not train them properly on the right kind of tasks, that this was my fate. It was predictable that if I just kept putting in what I was putting in, I would keep getting out what I was getting out. And I really didn't like that. It re reminded me of the incredible and earth-shaking quote, hell is meeting the man I could have been. And let me tell you, when I looked down at that time study and I looked at the trajectory of my life and my business and my career, I really didn't like where it ended up. So it's, it's time to crack the code. And I got super passionate about getting this solved. And what I discovered is it was really three parts. So the first thing is I had been hiring overseas assistants for four, five, 10, 15 dollars an hour, and they would just disappear. That's not going to cut it anymore. So I decided I'm going to hire the right kind of assistant. I'm going to hire someone who is based in the U.S. or Canada. At the time, I was based in Canada, so similar and same time zone, business culture, and language. I'm going to hire someone who wants to be a long-term uh, assistant, and they were looking for a long-term opportunity. I want someone who has great attention to detail. They've got the right Colby score, um, and they're, they're looking to grow with an entrepreneur. That was completely a different profile of assistant than who I had been hiring during my five fa failures. So I got that assistant, and then I realized that picking the right kind of tasks was incredibly important. Obviously, it makes no sense to spend an hour training an assistant on something that you could do in 10 minutes if that task happens only once per month. Over the course of a year, you would spend, say, an hour training, but it would only happen 12 times, and it's only once a month, and you really wouldn't feel like you're getting anywhere. Plus, they might forget if it's only once a month, and you have to retrain them anyways. But what if you found tasks that were happening every single day? Imagine you spend an hour teaching an assistant how to do a 10-minute task, which is probably overkill, but I'll, you know, for the sake of being conservative here, um, let's, say, let's say you spend an hour training an assistant how to do a 10-minute task, and that task happens uh, every day, five days a week. Well, by the end of that first week, you would have put in 60 minutes, and you would have gotten 50 minutes back, so basically the, a wash within one week. By the end of the second week, you don't have to retrain the assistant, plus they have five reps in now from the previous week, so you now actually get a 100% ROI on your time. By the end of just the first year, you now have 50 hours of your time back, and you spent only one to train the assistant. Well, that is what I'm talking about. So what is it that makes a great task to delegate? Like I mentioned, it happens regularly. Secondly, it's something that's easy for you to teach, easy for them to learn. It's a 20 to $25 an hour level difficulty. Um, it's something that you're already doing. If you start asking your assistant to do things that you're not personally already doing, then you don't get any time benefit back by them taking it on. In fact, it just adds to your calendar to have to coach them on something that you're not presently doing, and it does not get you your time back. Um, we also want to pick tasks that are uh, not going to sink the business if they get misperformed by your assistant. We want tasks that are kind of low criticality. 
Uh, now that being said, if there are some tasks that are high criticality that you are really keen to hand off, then you can teach your assistant how to do it, but maybe just make sure that you get to approve it before it actually gets shipped or it actually goes live. So that's the second part is picking the right kind of task to delegate. And then the third thing is to get actually unbelievably wildly committed to the process of training. That may sound incredible or ridiculous seeing as you might be completely against spending time to train an assistant right now, but I will tell you that after just a month of being a great coach to your assistant, you'll be truly blown away with how much time they give you back, how much your psychic load frees up, and you now feel like you're actually enjoying your business again. Get very, very, very interested in training your assistant. And you can see that if you have the right kind of assistant and you've picked the right kind of tasks, the odds are very high that your assistant is going to learn it quickly, do it repeatedly at a high level, and get you that freedom that you have always been seeking. Look, a great assistant is more than just a helper. Um, they are more than just a task manager. If you, if you hire the right kind of assistant and you train them right, like I've shared with you here, I would not be surprised if you didn't also double or triple your income within just a year or two and um, like literally start making the difference in your business and in your community and start making the income that you want because you now actually have time to work on your business, not just in it, to do the big strategic things, not just the minutiae. It's completely possible. I myself have helped hire uh, over uh, 600 assistants, and so I now clearly know what works. And what I've shared with you today is a part of that game plan. So if you found that helpful, uh, please do like, comment, or subscribe, whatever the case may be. And uh, this is very doable. I believe in you. It's completely doable. And hopefully you can get the freedom you're seeking too.